Welcome to video 95 in series 3 and in this video I'll make the muzzle flash particle system. Okay, so make a new particle system that is attached to the gun itself. Reposition it to like 0.11 in the Y and Z 0.84 so it sits just in front of the gun. And then I have to change all of these parameters as well. So I'll change the duration to something really short like 0.1 and I'll change the start lifetime to something really short, 0 0.05. And the start speed a lot faster at 10. And the start size much smaller at 0.2. Okay. I'll turn off play on awake. I will turn off looping. I'll just leave it on so I can see what's happening. Uh, as for the emission, it won't be a rate. So I'll just drop that to zero. And instead, it's going to be a uh, burst. And that is going to be uh, 20 by, well, 20 minimum, 20 maximum, so basically 20. As for the shape, uh, the cone, uh, but with an angle of 90 degrees. And a radius of 0.1. Okay, so that's looking a bit better. Uh, now I'll have color over lifetime, so I'll just enable that, expand it. And just bring this up here and I'll put in, in I'll put in a marker at the 60% position and change the color to something that's red so let me try putting that to well not red orange 175 yep that's about right and put in another marker at the same position on the top side this is for the alpha and also set that to 60% and set the alpha to like 100, so it's more transparent. And also the first one, set that also to like 100, so that it too is a lot more transparent. So yeah, the effect is already looking a little different. Oh, and actually I also want to change the alpha of the last one as well. So that should be 150. So it looks a little more faded at the end of its life. All right, now we'll just head over to, to the renderer and change it from billboard to stretched billboard. Okay. And that is actually looking pretty good. But we can do, uh, instead of a length scale, set that to zero. And we can do a speed scale, so it scales, it stretches by speed of like 0.1. And turn off our shadows, turn off receive shadows, no, re no need for that, that's just a waste of resource. Okay, so that should be it. I'll just turn off looping. And so what I will do is, by code, uh, this uh, animation, this, well, sorry, this particle system will play by code. So it'll just come as a burst, just like this, how I simulate it. So I'll be playing it, and that's it. All right, so that's it for the uh, muzzle flash. I'll just, I'll rename it. I'll just rename it muzzle flash. And why don't I do something else as well? Uh, I'll go over to uh, the prefabs. And I'll make another folder. I'll call this uh, Gun Components. And inside of that, I'll drop in the muzzle flash. I'll put in the uh, dynamic crosshair. I'll also put in uh, the canvas ammo. So I can reuse that for other guns as well. Or in fact, I could just use the same assault rifle and take stuff, take the model out and bring in another model. That's another way to do it. Let me just hit apply again. And that now is uh, the assault rifle all updated. Okay. And yep, it's got everything. Excellent. Okay. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.